Yesterday I went to the hospital. I went in at around 11 p.m. And uh, I stayed there all the way until 5.30 in the morning with a needle stabbed in my forearm. Throbbing pain in my chest area, particularly the heart. I was trying to diagnose myself. I don't have any heart problems, you know? So I was wondering, you know, why, why did this happen? Was it because I was working out? Or was it because I wasn't eating good? My diet was off? And then I figured it out. For the first time since late April, I thought about the San Francisco 49ers offensive line. I, I, that, that is exactly what did it for me. Because I was supposed to make this video last night. I had this video planned for last night. I was taking notes. And I was thinking 49ers football for the first time since the draft. And my notes, they stopped at offensive line. So we're going to start with offensive line. Because that's really all I wanted to talk about in this video. Now before I start though, I have some bad news for you guys at the end of this video. So... Make sure you stay tuned for that, because that's exciting. Before I continue with this video, everybody, please take a knee for the 49ers quarterbacks this year. Please take a knee and say a prayer, because I am scared we're going to lose all three of them, just like we did last year, because we did not address O-line this offseason. It, 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 it's this right side, all right? After we let that cone go... Colton McKivitz at right tackle. I feel like that's a traumatizing event waiting to happen. I, I just do. Am I the only one that's terrified? Colton McKivitz. I have a feeling I'm going to be saying that name a lot this year. Colton McKivitz. That and Spencer Burford. If you ever looked at our depth chart last year, you're probably saying to yourself, well, Spencer Burford started for the 49ers last year. Yeah, he stayed in for one drive. All right, he would literally play a drive and then get taken out like uh, like how Georgia rotates their D linemen. Like that is Spencer Burford. What scares me is that we didn't even address right tackle at all. We didn't draft an old lineman in the third round, in the fourth round, in the fifth round, in the sixth round, or in the seventh round. We did not draft an old lineman this year. The new old lineman we got, Joey. Fisher, Corey, Luciana, and Elm Manning. Elm. His name is Elm. Who names their kid Elm and which right tackle is named Elm? Which elite right tackle is named Elm? Elm. I-L-M, ill. I'm scared. I'm really scared, man, because they're gonna die, all right? I, I just know it, all right? Let's just let's just get into the QB talk. If you watched my live streams last year, you'll know. I'm a Trey Lance truther. I love me some Trey in the Bay. Tricky Trey Lance will make you dance. Trey, I love me Trey Lance. And I think that it is unfair that he did not get his chance. He got four games, and now he's getting treated like he's competing for the backup job with Sam Darnold. But I think it's even more unfair and unjust if Brock Purdy doesn't start the year, assuming that he's healthy. I just don't like how Trey Lance is battling Sam Darnold for the backup job. Like that to me is just, if you're trying to get trade value for him, I, I don't see why you would release that. And confidence wise, it just doesn't do anything for the, it just, it, there's no pro in saying that. What, for Sam Darnold's ego? Who, who cares? Honestly though, I would not be surprised to see Sam Darnold in some sort of important situation this year. Kind of like a Josh Johnson. I, I would not be surprised, okay? Because let's let's keep in mind, we have Colton McKibbitts at right tackle. Debo apparently looks good naked, according to Kyle Shanahan. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on between them, but Hey, right. if Shanahan has Debo's nudes, that should make him play better, right? Because there's a threat of releasing those nudes to the public, right? So, ten, okay, okay, we're going on Debo, all right? IU, I think he's a top 10 receiver. I think he's better than Devontae Smith. I think he's better than CD Lamb. And he might be better than Terry McLaurin this year. Throw down, Jawan's gonna hold it down, no problem. Uh, we have some rookie receivers. I believe Ronnie Bell from Michigan. Excited to see him. Excited to see how Danny Gray progresses in his second year. Both speedsters. We'll see how it goes, right? Running backs. 
You see this, ladies and gentlemen? It's the first smile of the video. This is the first group that I feel good about. Kyle Shanahan running game scheme as well. Masterpiece. We're okay with that. Same with the tight ends. Jorge. K-O-T-M. Kittle over the middle. We also brought in a rookie. Third round pick. Cameron Latu. All right. From Alabama. Yeah, we'll talk about that pick later. Is that everything on offense? That's everything on offense. Now let's talk about defense. Nick Bosa holding out. I will cut my dick off if he's not on the team. All right, it, I will, I will, I will not live if Nick Bosa does not play a snap for the 49ers this year. I will, I will not exist if he gets traded. I, I will not. Okay, I refuse to believe that that's even a scenario. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm just gonna say I think it's gonna get done. He's holding out a camp. By the time this goes up, he's probably at camp. And if he's not at camp by then, then I'm shitting bricks. I'm petrified. Javon Hargrave. Now, everybody, most of the Niners Nation, most of the faithful, are really excited about Javon Hargrave. Except for me. I'm scared. I don't know how many times I've said I've scared this video, but I'm scared. Javon Hargrave comes from the Philadelphia Eagles, signs a four-year, $84 million deal, $40 million guarantee. 11 sacks last year, more of a pass rushing interior D-line. Arik Armstead, his counterpart, opposite of him, playing interior, run stuffer, absolute monster, six foot seven, just wide, like wide, covering all gaps. That man, he's a beast. Perfect compliment is Javon Hargrave, smooth. Silky. Fast. Now with all of this, all of these points that I just mentioned, they're all positives. And that scares me. It just, it just seems a little too good to be true. And I'm scared that we, 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 we paid for damaged goods. He's 30 years old, $84 million. I'm scared that he just lost that drive, that hunger, that dog in him. I hope I'm wrong, Javon. I hope I'm wrong, because I know you're watching. Our new edge rusher this year, since Samson Ebucom decided to leave, Drake Jackson. I just need him playing across Nick Bosa, and you just gotta win your one-on-ones, bro. It's really that simple. Nobody's doubling Drake Jackson this year, with Javon Hargrave, Ar Ar Armstead, and Nick Bosa playing with you. Nobody's doubling you, bro. You'll be chilling, okay? And if you're not chilling, carry Hyder right behind you, right? Competition, iron sharpens iron. And we got good depth on D-line this year. I'm not worried, Chris Kraserik is still here. I'm not worried. Linebackers. See the smiles back? <laughs> Linebackers. <laughs> Woo! Fred Warner. Dre Greenlaw. Back. Active. Ready to kill. Take heads off. Sideline to sideline. End zone to end zone. Wolf finds you. That third linebacker spot is up for grabs. I think it comes down to three players. First player is our new draft pick. D. Winters. Never seen this kid play, but he's a draft pick, so I'm excited. I'm naturally inclined to believe that he's next. He's a rookie, he's young, he's hungry. I'm excited. Second player is kind of the boring one. Middle of the pack. Oren Burks. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like... Oren, Oren Burks. The last option, which is probably the one that I would be most concerned about, is if somehow Demetrius Flanagan Fowles wins this job. I'm scared. Again. Not smiling anymore. If he wins the job, it's gonna be a long day. He's not a good player. I, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I, from what I've seen, I'm not a fan. Okay, last position group. Now, I need to go back to the couch to talk about this because if I'm standing up, uh, I might hit something. I am going to combine cornerbacks, safeties, and special teams together. You're probably wondering. Cornerback and safety, okay, that makes sense. Why special teams? Because with our third round pick this year, we took Jake Moody, a kicker out of Michigan. Now, apparently, this guy is supposed to be generation. I'm expecting, like, 50-plus yard bombs consistent. 
consistent. Jake, if you miss a kick, if you miss a, if you miss an extra point, getting <laughs> murdered on Twitter. Absolutely murder. But I want to bring up Jake Moody. All right, the reason I want to bring up Jake Moody is because of who he was picked ahead of. And this brings you back to who I was talking about earlier. Remember, Cameron Latu, the man from Alabama, the tight end. We picked Jake Moody and Cameron Latu ahead of three corners, okay? Now, one of them was drafted by the Raiders, so I'm not concerned about him, all right? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know his name. Who cares? He sucks. Drafted by the Raiders, all right? That's, the scouting department is cheese. But Makai Blackman from USC went to the Vikings and Kali. Ringo, who I desperately wanted my 49ers to draft. Kali Ringo, cornerback out of Georgia, was drafted by the enemy. Now he if he if, if if he pans out to be anything remotely close to a cornerback too, I'm losing my shit. I am praying on Kali Ringo's downfall his entire career. I hope, I hope he gets cut. I hope he's in the USFL in like three years, okay? Because if it's not him, it's John Lynch. He, he would need to go back to CBS or ESPN or wherever he came from, okay? We're not deep at all in corner. Charvarius Ward, cornerback one. Honestly, I'm a little concerned. Um, I've been concerned since the day we signed him. He played really well last year. I just feel in my heart of hearts that as a cornerback one, you gotta have some sort of shutdown ability. And when I see the likes of a Jamar Chase, a Tyreek Hill, AJ Brown, Justin Jefferson, lined up across from Charvarius Ward, half a shit comes out of my ass, just, just half. I'm a little, little scared. But, you know, he had a very good year last year. I'm very happy with Charvarius, okay? He'd be great actually as a cornerback too, but I have nothing to complain about. He fits well in our system, it's okay. Cornerback two, Demo Lenore. You guys don't know about Demo Lenore? Avid young boy listener. You can see him listening to like a Fresh Prince of Utah. Locking up, you know what I mean? I, I can see it, but it's just depth, right? We don't have a third corner. Ambry Thomas is the guy. Sam Womack might be the guy. But you see how if you're watching up to this point of the video and you don't know this team, how you're kind of like, who the, who the, who, who are those guys? Yes, they have a point to prove. They have a name to prove. But, 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 that's it. That's all we have. We signed like Terrence Mitchell yesterday. He might be in Cancun by tomorrow. We signed Isaiah Oliver, okay? Out of Colorado, long arms, long ass, looking like Slenderman. That's all I know about him. Long arms. I just find it baffling how we did not take a single cornerback when our depth chart is Charvarius Ward, Demo Lenoir, and Ambry Thomas. That's it. And last position I want to talk about is uh, safety. I'm not concerned about safety. Hufanga scares me a little bit because everyone thinks he's amazing. He um, can't cover. Uh, so hopefully he worked on that in the offseason. He's great. Don't get me wrong. First team all pro. Or second team. Something crazy. I, I don't even remember. Was he first team all pro? I swear he was first team all pro. Let me search it. Ufanga, first team all pro. First team. I, 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 I couldn't believe it. Uh, wow. But you know what? Good for him. Good for him. Hey, hey, hey. I don't like how it gives him more leverage in, in you know, a contract extension situation, but good for him. So Sean Gibson's back. He was outstanding last year. Only thing that concerns me is he's kind of a dinosaur. He's like 32 years old. Bro's becoming a fossil. I'm a little worried about that, but other than that, I mean, I think he considered retirement even, so he considered quitting, you know? Our highest draft pick of this year's draft, third round pick, of course, because uh, we love, you know, letting go of... Uh, minority coaches third round we selected a kid jair brown i'm excited you see the smiles back i'm excited again i'm excited jair brown i'm excited okay i'm excited to see him play you know it's another rook gotta be excited for the rooks and yeah to close this video out uh, i'm just gonna quickly address coaching we let go d'amico brought in steve wilkes who i assume is going to run the same system 
Uh, I, I, I'm not worried about that. I think it's a good hire, even though Steve Wilkes, you know, he's kind of a bum as a head coach, but he doesn't coach, a, he doesn't coach head coach. You know what I mean? He doesn't coach head. We still got Chris Kasarik. We still got our, our positional guys on defense. So it's chill. Kyle Shanahan, I have a problem with you, sir. Offensive guru, genius, master play caller, arguably better than Mike Shanahan. But let's not blow a lead in the fourth quarter of an important game, like the NFC Championship game or a Super Bowl. Let's just not let's not, let's not do any of that this year. Have you not had enough? This is our window. I almost died last night. I could have gone an entire lifetime without seeing a 49ers Super Bowl. I, it could have been done last night. NFC is so soft. It's just the Eagles. We just got to be, if we have our quarterbacks, Kyle, just, 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 just you, you, you got them. We got the Eagles. Eagle, I'm not scared of the Eagles. If we just had a quarterback last year, we probably would have beat him last year. You know what I mean? Easy money. Just get us there. Okay, get us to the finish line. Okay, so end of the video now. That was the preview of the 49ers this year from my point of view, not influenced by anybody else. Just took a look at the depth chart and came on camera and started talking shit. I will be releasing a NFL preview as well of all the teams, how I feel about what the standings are, what my predictions are, that type of stuff that will be coming out. Bad news that I want to talk about. First of all, before I get to the bad news, actually, I, I like this type of video. I've been filming for the last little bit here. I'm liking it. It's laid back where I can just talk some football, all right? The reason I, I really wanted to do this is because I, I just don't really have anybody to talk football with. I don't live with any of my friends, my close friends that I used to, you know, watch football and talk football with. So it's very hard for me to, to just hit him up and, and start talking about who's going to win the third linebacker spot at the San Francisco 49ers. It's just hard. You know, and I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't have friends. So I have you guys though. So, you know, it's nice for me to just be able to turn on the camera and talk a little bit of football, you know? Uh, all right, bad news. The bad news is the reason I'm starting these videos, the reason I'm starting this series is because I will be discontinuing the live streams for 49ers games starting this season. I'm traveling. I'm not going to be home. I'm taking a year of school. And I'm going to be traveling around the world. I'm mostly going to be in Asia is what I'm thinking right now. I don't have it all planned. I only have like the first couple of months planned. So it's going to be 2, 3 in the morning. I'm going to be staying up watching these Niners games. I can't live stream while I'm there. I can't be yelling my head off. I, I can't be, you know, jumping around. I can't be, you know, doing all this. and uh, I can't be doing all that while i am not at home you guys know if you guys watch the live stream this year i got like three noise complaints and this is like this is my home so to substitute that i'm going to be releasing a lot more videos like this and i plan on releasing a post game video to every niners game that happens this year so you guys will still get my thoughts i'm still gonna be reacting to some highlights what i think you know, I'm gonna be taking notes during the game. I'll still be heard, all right? Uh, and I'm gonna be uploading a lot of videos like this throughout the year. That's the plan. Uh, because I'm gonna be traveling and stuff. I can't really just sit down and you know, crank the edits and stuff, you know, like trying to make it all oh, fast paced and all that. I, I can't do that for these type of videos. But I hope you guys enjoy this style of video because I really am enjoying, you know, recording this right now. It feels, it feels, uh, it feels liberating, free, you know? It's nice. And yeah, the, the second bad news is we don't have a right tackle. We don't have a right tackle. We don't have a right side of the line. We, 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 have, we have two old linemen. Two and a half. I'll update you guys with a video if I see some bullshit happen out of training camp. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bang, bang.